WordPress 6.5 come with interesting new features, so in this video, we're gonna share our five favorite ones, and especially one that may well take your WordPress websites to a whole new level. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astra team, and today let's take a look at what WordPress 6.5 brings to the table. Now, as mentioned, there is one particular feature that will make your websites way more interesting. Now, at the time of recording this video, it is still in its infancy, but WordPress 6.5 opened the door to a bright WordPress future. So watch until the end to find out what you will soon be able to do with your WordPress websites. And let's start with the fact that you can now rename every block in the list view. Now in WordPress 6.4, you could already partially rename blocks, but not all of them. So for example, here I have a group, I click on the three dots, hit rename, and now I can just rename it, save, and voila. But now let me expand this group, expand the column, and let me try to rename the paragraph. Click on the three dots, and as you may have guessed it, no option. And now let's check in WordPress 6.5. I can still rename my group, so I have the option here. But if I expand the group, let me open my columns, and here is the paragraph block. Let me click on the three dots, and voila, here I have the rename option, and I can just rename my block. Now that feature is super important to organize your work. And if you've been using the Spectra Visual Website Builder, you know how important that feature is because it's been available in Spectra for months. Next, Sync Patterns Upgrade or Pattern Overrides. And before I explain what it is, can we all agree that the name could be better? Something like Flexible Patterns? What do you think, Mr. WordPress? I'm just saying. A WordPress pattern is a collection of blocks arranged together into a thoughtful, intentional, opinionated section for a page or post. Patterns make it incredibly simple to add complex layouts and designs to any WordPress site without having to start from scratch every time. Now, one of the use cases for a pattern could be that you want a banner that you want on all pages of your website, and you want to be able to easily change it without having to open each and every page. So that's when patterns come in handy. But that being said, sometimes you want to change one element on the banner for a specific page. For example, you may want the ability to change just the text depending on the page you are viewing. So let's take a look at how it worked up to WordPress 6.4. So let me open the list view. And here with my first group selected, I click on the plus sign, then go to patterns, all patterns. Then let me scroll down and I'm going to use this one here. So that pattern has been added in our page, but it has been added just below the first one, the first group. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it in the first position here. Then click on the three dots, click on create pattern, and I'm gonna call it my 6.4 pattern. Make sure synced is on and click on create. So now we've created our pattern. Now if I wanna edit it, I'm just going to open the settings panel and with my pattern selected, I'm just gonna to go to style, background, and I'm gonna change the background color and I'm gonna do the same with the text. Let me click on update and save to save my work. Now let's create two new pages. So let's go to pages, add new page. I'm not going to choose a pattern yet. So let me close this. Now let's name our page. Let's call it page one, WordPress 6.4. Then click on the plus sign, patterns, my patterns, and that's the one I want to use, my 6.4 pattern. So just click on it, let's close this, and let's click on publish and publish again. Now let's repeat the operation, pages, add new page. Let's close this. Let's call it page two, WordPress 6.4. Then once again, click on the plus sign, patterns, my patterns, and let's choose the appropriate pattern. Then click on publish and publish one more time. And now if we take a look at the front end, here is page one and here is page two. Now back in the WordPress admin, let's say that I want to edit just the text here. We're on page two. So I'm just gonna change all of this to, hey, and let's click on update, then save. Now let's go back to the front end, let me refresh. And as expected, the text has changed to, hey. But now let's take a look at page one, I haven't refreshed yet. So let me refresh. And you see, here's the problem. If you change it anywhere, it changes everywhere. Now let's try with WordPress 6.5. So let's go to pages and new page and let's call it page one, WordPress 6.5. Click on the plus sign, patterns, all. Now let's scroll down and I'm going to choose 
the same pattern as previously. Then click on the list overview, click on the three dots, click on create pattern, and I'm gonna call it my 6.5 pattern. Make sure synced is turned on, click on create. But now if you wanna make some changes and we open the settings panel, as you can see, if you click on it, you can't really do anything. You now need to edit the original. So let's click on this. Let me select my group and now I can make some changes. So let me go to style. Let me change the background and let's change it to this color and let's change the text. Now with our heading block selected, let's go to the advanced sub tab. Let's scroll down. And as you can see here, there's a new option pattern overrides. So let's take the option to allow instance overrides and let's click on update. Let's save. Now let's go back to the dashboard, click on pages and new page. Let's close this. And this time let's call it page two WP 6.5. Click on the plus sign patterns, my patterns, and let's select the appropriate pattern, my 6.5 pattern. So I just click on it. Let's close this. And let me click on publish and publish one more time. And now if you go to the front end, this is our page one for WordPress 6.5. And this is our page two. Now let's go back to page two. And as seen before, if I click here, I can't do anything except edit the original. But because we allow the instance override, if I click here on the text, as you can see, I can edit it. Now, as before, let's change this to, hey, then click on update. And if you go back to the front end, as expected, as we hit refresh, the text has updated. But now if we go to page number one, and I haven't refreshed yet, and if we hit refresh, that's where WordPress 6.5 makes a difference because we can now override the same patterns. Now, at the time of recording this video, you can override the paragraph and heading blocks, but upon release, you should also be able to do it with the image and button blocks with support for more blocks to come in the future. Next, WordPress 6.5 now includes data views for pages, patterns, templates, and template parts. Now, what does that even mean? Okay, let me show you. And let's start with how it looks in WordPress 6.4. So let's go to Appearance, Editor, then click on Templates, and click on Manage All Templates. So that's how it was. You see a list of your templates, but that's it. You can't really see what's going on. Now let's do the same thing in WordPress 6.5, Appearance Editor, Templates, and Manage All Templates. So on first glance, it's like the same thing, maybe a bit refined, but hey, look here, top right corner, Layout, we have Table and Grid. Let's switch to Grid. And as you can see now, we have a visual representation of what those templates are. This is such a time saver, because the more templates you're going to add to your website, the harder it's going to be to remember, oh, which template does what. Now let's go back to WordPress 6.4 and let's try to do the same thing with pages. So I click on pages, manage all pages, and it's taking me to the WordPress admin. And now let's do the same thing in WordPress 6.5, pages, manage all pages. And as you can see, we have our table view. And once again, we can just change it to grid view. Now at the time of recording this video, you don't see the actual preview, but this is just a better version and it should be coming with the full release of WordPress 6.5. This feature is such a time saver, especially as your website grows and you have more and more content. Next, WordPress 6.5 now comes with a fonts library. So let's take a look at how it works in WordPress 6.4. So let's go to styles then click on the edit icon, click on typography and, and that's it, <laughs> nothing more. Uh, you can't really do anything. Let's click on text. You can only interact with fonts that were integrated in the WordPress theme. Now let's try it with WordPress 6.5. Let's go to style, edit, then click on typography. And first of all, the user interface has changed. You can see the fonts here on top. And if you click here on that manage fonts icon, as you can see, here is the fonts library. So first of all, you see all of your fonts with the variant. So if I click on this font, I see the active variants. Next, I have the upload tab, so I can upload my own font. And finally, I have the install tab. So here I can connect to Google fonts. So all I need to do is allow access to Google fonts. And there you go. Now I have access to all the Google fonts. If you can go through the list. 
So that's great that this feature is now coming to the WordPress core, but if you've been using the free Brainstorm Force custom fonts plugin, you've had the ability to do this since 2018. Yeah. Next, WordPress 6.5 now introduces the Interactivity API. And this is the one feature that I mentioned in the intro that may well take your WordPress websites to another level. The Interactivity API is a new framework that offers developers a standardized method to bring interactive front-end experiences or interactions to blocks. It aims to simplify the process with less dependencies on external tooling while maintaining optimal performance. Wait, wait, wait. Let me stop here. If that definition gave you a headache, let me simplify it for you. In other words, the Interactivity API is going to make your websites more engaging and interactive. For example, by not refreshing pages when users trigger actions. Let me show you a demo. So this demo was provided by WordPress itself. So let's take a look. Let me scroll down. And as you can see, I can go to the next page. So let me click on next page. And as you saw, it didn't refresh the page. So right away, I click on next page and boom, instantly. Next, let me like some of the movies. So let me like this one, this one, and this one. Now, let me scroll back up. And as you can see, the count of the likes is updated here. Let me add, let's say this one. And as you can see, it's updated in real time. Didn't refresh anything. Now, let me open this movie, for example. And as you can see, the like is still here, right here. Now, let me scroll down. And here we can see we have images and we have videos. Let me play a video. So let me remove the sound. And as you can see, if I go back up, I click on the logo, go on the homepage, video is still playing. I can open another movie, the video is still playing. Didn't refresh anything and it's blazing fast. Now, let's close this. Let's go back to the homepage. And here on top, you see a search field. So let's start typing the Godfather. And as you can see, right away, it found the movie without refreshing the page. Now let's try with another one, search, and this time, spirited away. And boom, there you go, instantly. So personally, I'm super excited about that feature because as developers start to implement it in their tools, it's gonna open the door to a lot more creativity, better websites, and better experiences, by the way. If you want to create a slick movie database website with WordPress and Spectre Pro, you may want to take a look at our dedicated tutorial here on the channel. You'll find the link in the description of this video, but of course, only watch it once you're done watching this one. Now, here is a bonus feature. WordPress 6.5 plans to introduce the possibility for theme developers to add support for editor tools in classic themes. In other words, some of the sleek enhancements of the WordPress editor seen in block themes could now be used in classic themes. And that will open the door to a more unified experience between classic themes, like the Astro theme, and block themes, like the Spectre 1 theme. And if you're interested to know more about the future of the Astra classic theme and its younger sibling, the Spectre 1 block theme, then take a look at this video. So, out of all the WordPress 6.5 features that we outlined in this video, which one is your favorite? Please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you want to create a cool movie database website or any kind of database, make sure you watch this video next.